Hi guys, assalamualaikum and welcome back to my channel. My name is Halima, I create content on lifestyle and baking. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, it'll mean a lot to me and follow me on Instagram. Right, in today's video, we're in Cambridge and oh, what a city this is. For our first event, we did something that was really traditional that every Cambridge student endeavours or any visitor that comes to Cambridge does is punting. Punting is an art that is done by the students of Cambridge University and it goes along the River Cam for about 45 minutes you go on this stroll. It's a boat that you sit in with other people and three people can sit in one section. It takes about 50 minutes and can hold up to 12 passengers. As we went along the River Cam, we got to learn a lot of the history about Cambridge University and the buildings and the lovely traditions that they have there. As the university students do tell you what's going on, it costs around £25 to £30 per person. And there are several companies that you can use. You can book online or you can actually book on the day. And it normally is they normally run every 15 minutes and this is a tradition in Cambridge that has been running from the late 19th century it doesn't happen just in Cambridge it happens in Oxford and also in the Avon in Bath and Salisbury where the river cam flows through the town in Cambridge experienced punters follow the path of a gravel ridge that makes it for easier punting this ridge has a curious history. It remains an old toll path built when the cam was used as for commercial river traffic. The banks on either side of the river belong to various university colleges faced with a combined opposition to a conventional toll path of one side to the other. The river tradesmen were forced to build the toll path in the course of the stream and to make the toll houses wade along it. We then came to the mathematical bridge on our return. It's a wooden footbridge in the southwest of central Cambridge. It br bridges the river Cam about 100 feet northwest of the Silver Street Bridge and connects two paths of the Queen's College. Its official name is simply the Wooden Bridge or Queen's Ridge. It's a Grade II listed building. The bridge was designed by William Etheridge and built by James Essex in 1749. It then had to be rebuilt on two occasions in 1866 and in 1905, but has kept the same design all, overall. Although it appears to be an arch, it's composed entirely of slight straight timbers built on unusual sophisticated engineering design, hence the name. A replica of the build, bridge was built in 1923 near the Lifty Lock in Oxford. Following our punting adventure, we decided to then travel around the streets of Cambridge and see what they had to offer. We obviously went to various different shops. There's one traditional shop, which is the Cambridge Bookstore, where I actually picked up a couple of books. And then from there, we moved on to some of the famous stores that there are and the famous bakeries that are there. We then hopped on along to one of the houses and we just you're allowed to go inside some of them as they are free but some places you're not allowed to go in and you, or you have to pay for entry there are tours that happen where you can pay and they do take you inside the buildings and but they are a full day thing they take about two three hours and they go all across cambridge campus we were very short on time so we just thought we'll just take a stroll and we went to a few different places and then every, and then we returned home. Every house has a church which is something that is traditional for Cambridge. So we've ended up at Pembroke College and it looks absolutely ginormous but let's have a look around.
How's your trip going so far then? Alhamdulillah, it's brilliant. You enjoying yeah. yourself? Yeah. Aspiration. I don't think we're allowed over here. As we were walking back, we then found Sir Muhammad Inama Iqbal's home and this is in Cambridge as they studied at Trinity College in Cambridge. A house with a history, some Pakistani history, the famous Muhammad Inama Iqbal, the philosopher of Pakistan, lived in this house. Number 17, Portugal Place. As our time was nearly ended in Cambridge, we decided that we wanted to quickly pray in the mass before we headed off to London. The Cambridge Central Mosque is Europe's first eco mosque and first purple built mosque from within the city of Cambridge. Its mandate is to meet the needs of the Muslim community in the UK and beyond by facilitating good practice in faith, community de development, social cohesion, and interfaith dialogue. It was opened in on the 24th of April 2019. The Cambridge Central Mosque design was inspired both by Islamic and English religious architecture traditions. The defining feature of Cambridge Mosque is its timber structure. The columns of the trees reach up to support the roof in an interlaced in octagonal lattice vault structure, just as nearby King College Chapel. The timber is sustainably sourced spruce which has been carved and laminated. Roof lights are located above the trees and the octagonal geometry has a strong symbolism in Islamic art, suggesting the circle of suggesting the cycle of inhalation and exhalation, the birth of the divine. You enter via an Islamic garden before passing through the atrium, preparing then to move on to the prayer hall. There is a bus stop right outside the door or the entrance of the mosque and also ample parking space available underground. Right guys, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It'll mean so much to me. Please share the video with your family and friends. Until next time guys, take care. Bye!